first of all, uh, sometimes posterior circulation stroke um, uh, is difficult to diagnose because the signs may be misleading, may be non-focal, and may be subtle. We know for basal artery occlusion stroke that it may take days to, uh, to uh, receive treatment, or it may take many hours to have the full-blown uh, patient with hemiplegia or coma. So, um, first of all, it is of importance that the stroke physicians, mostly neurologists in Europe, have the expertise and be sensible enough to um, uh, always take into consideration the, the diagnosis of um, basilar artery occlusion, because we, have, we will have totally different results if we manage to uh, capture these patients early in their course of this uh, disease. And of course, neuroimaging is, uh, uh, is uh, critical. I believe that the CTA for all approach is a really important approach. It has been shown by a group in Germany that doing CTA in all TIA uh, minor stroke patients will increase the yield of endovascular treatment. So we are in an era where most centers have the possibilities of CTA. We're not talking about advanced neuroimaging. I believe with patients with mild symptoms that may be associated with basilar artery occlusion, they should receive as soon as possible a CTA. That way, we will be at a position to help them and receive treatment in time before progressing. The first thing and most important would be to use our tools, clinical and neuroimaging, to uh, identify these patients as soon as possible.